Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my favorite for the month of March. I realize it's a little late, but I did mention in my last video, if you saw it, that I would be taking a break during the spring break vacation where I had um, visitors and my kids were on break. And it is very hard to film videos when you have um, two kids, two boys, uh, two dogs, a husband, and a mother-in-law staying in your house and there's just a lot of noise and it's kind of hard to concentrate and get filmed without somebody yelling mom or somebody barking or somebody needing you. So anyway, I'm back and these are the things that I'm really excited about for the month of March. Before I get into it, I just wanna take 30 seconds to say thank you so much to all my new subscribers for subscribing. Thank you to all my old subscribers. But honestly, it took me about four to five months to hit a thousand. And in the last month, in the month of March, I gained about 500 new subscribers. So. It took me four, four or five months to get to 1,000, and then I got another 500 in, in the month of March. So that was really, really exciting to me, and thank you, and I really, really appreciate your support. So let's get into it. Oh, one more thing, one more thing, sorry. Um, I wanted to say that I do read all your comments, and some of you are so kind in those comments. I absolutely love to read them. They so keep me motivated. I haven't really gotten many bad comments, which I was really afraid of, because people, you know, there's haters out there. I did get one comment from somebody that was, um, it was on a review and it said, you talked for four minutes straight, something like that. And I thought, um, I'm doing a review video, so I'm going to be talking and, you know, I suppose I could mime the video. I really don't know what they're expecting, but yeah, I, these videos, especially if I'm reviewing, I'm going to be talking. So yeah. Let's go on. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is self-tanner. I am a freelance makeup artist, a lot of you know that. I had a client at an event, sorry, my lips are just like, you ever feel like sometimes you get like gunk on the side of your mouth? Maybe it's because I've done so many takes of this already that I'm just like, the talking is accumulating gunk. It just feels weird. Anyway, so I had a client and I am not really good about self-tanning. I don't, I live in a hot climate and it's, they're sunny all the time, but I don't, you know, I have sun damage, as you can see, that I kind of face tune out my photos, I'm not going to lie. Um, but, you know, sun damage is there, and everybody does it on Instagram, so. Um, <laughs> self-tanner. I like self-tanners. So I had a client in my chair at an event, and I and she was a cocktail waitress at one of the hotel slash casinos here in Las Vegas. And, you know, most of them are, well, at the high-end casinos and the high-end pools and clubs. They're all cute, you know, 20-something um, very pretty girls and they are tan most of them they either go spray tanning or they use self tanners so long story short she recommended this product right here this is the kardashian sunkissed instant sunless mousse right here purchased at ulta now i know that the whole kardashian subject can be um you know what's the word i'm looking for polarizing, I guess. They are polarizing people, all of them. I will refrain from keeping my own thoughts. And I just am going to say that I like their self-tanner. It dries very, very quickly. I'll put the price below, but I only think it's about $10 maybe. Um, it come, has a, you know, a pump. Oh, and then you open it and it splatters all over you. Blooper time. Be right back. Okay, so obviously in the other takes of this video, I did not start with that self-tanner because that is honestly an in the moment moment. And I'm a little upset because I'm wearing a brand new pair of pants that I'm hoping I got the spots out okay. And the only reason why that happened is because I cleaned it off so it wouldn't have like the brown stuff when I showed it to you, like from the remnant of the self-tanner. And I think the water, the ceiling, and I don't know, but it doesn't happen um, when you own the product. It's never happened to me before, but anyway, it goes on really, really nicely. Um, I did do it, it hasn't, well, you can see how I didn't really get my hand here maybe, because um, this camera picks up everything, but it dries so quickly and it gives you a nice realistic color. I think why that's why the girls, um, they like it. The cocktail waitresses that I mentioned, they like it because it just dries really quickly. It doesn't, it has a little bit of a self-tanner smell. I have yet to find one that doesn't. If you know of one that doesn't have any type of smell, let me know about it and, and make it reasonably priced, please. <laughs> so I really like this one, especially for um, the cost. It's a nice full-size bottle. And if you have an Ulta coupon, like for $3.50 off, um, again, that's for United States people only with the Ultas, unfortunately. So I really like that self-tanner. It's been a favorite so far this month. So 
Next up, we have the Too Faced Melted Metallic, um, wait, Melted Metal Liquefied Metallic Lipsticks from Too Faced. If you follow me on Instagram, I've worn these in quite a few of my photos recently. I got three shades, Metallic, Melted Metallic Peony, Melted Metallic Bunny, and Melted Metallic Tutu. Okay, so let me swatch them for you. So this is Melted Metallic Tutu. It is like a peachy, well, yeah, a peachy pink, more on the peachy side, like a bright coral color. Um, and they are very metallic-y when first applied to the lips, but if you blend them out, like I use my finger to blend them out, and they kind of, they don't stay as almost like 80s frosty, because at first you can be, when I first put it on, like straight from here, I thought, ooh, that's very 80s frost coming back to me. So I wasn't too thrilled then, but once I blended it out and... I'm really um, liking them. And then the color I have on is Melted Metallic Peony. I will swatch that one next. It is a baby pink. That is this one. And they are very, very metallic. And then finally is the one I have on, which is the Melted Metallic Bunny which is a brighter pink. Very, very bright, as you can see. And I'll put a little bit more on my lips. Maybe that'll help so you see the color. See how metallic it is when it's first applied? And then, I'm only looking in the viewfinder here, so bear with me if it doesn't look right. And then I pop my lips together and it kind of takes away some of that uber metallicness. So if you like the metallic look, then don't do this and don't use your finger. But if you want it more subtle, um, then definitely use your finger on those. And again, I'll put the prices below. And I just like the melted lip colors from Too Faced. I really do. I have melted sugar. I have melted um, nude. I, I like the texture of them because they're a combination of they're not super matte and they're not super shiny. And you can put a gloss on top if you would like. So, next up, I'm trying to make this video not be like 30 minutes long, so if you have any questions about any of the products, please just comment and I will answer them, but they're lip glosses. I mean, they feel good on the lips, the colors are, are nice, I think, and I just happen to like that formula, so I highly recommend those. Moving on is something that I am so excited about. I honestly, you guys, I love, love, love this palette for many, many reasons. I have two palettes for you this month. This one, the one that I'm absolutely loving, is this Christopher Buckle Always Flawless Day to Night Palette. Ta-da! This, you guys, is $19.99 at Costco. I mean, the pigment is absolutely amazing on these shadows. I have everything on today. I have the eyes. Well, not everything in the palette, but I have this kind of quad right here on the eyes. And let's see if I can get this... Um, lip gloss out for you. Come on. Anyway, it has two quads, like a neutral, what I guess you would consider his day quad, and then the night quad, a nice matte black, and two blushes. Everything is super pigmented. It comes with a mascara. I'll admit I haven't tried the mascara yet, um, nor have I tried the gloss because I honestly can't get it out. Give me a second here. Okay, so I've only had this for a week, so that's why I haven't um, gotten to the lip gloss or anything. I've just been so excited with the shadows and and um, the packaging kind of sucks. I mean, it's not very glamorous. It does have a mirror here, but mine doesn't close all the way. So that's really frustrating. It's like, I don't even, it's fine over here, but it just doesn't close all the way. So that's irritating, but it's $19.99. So I really can't complain too much. But like I said, the colors are super, super pigmented. I do have them on my eyes today and you know I was hesitant but I was like oh Costco takes everything back so I thought I would give it a try so this is the lip gloss as I mentioned I haven't tried this on my lips but let's see what the color is like it's a nice nude pink it's pretty actually I'll have to try that I mean it's tiny but it's good for like your purse and evening bag and it does have some good shine to it I'll have to report back on how it feels on the lips and um, it was not easy to get out of that package, so let's just say that. So that is $19.99 at Costco. 
Again, my apologies to those out of the country, but I do believe that you can find it on eBay. I did look it up while I was at the store to see if, um, you know, what the reviews were, and I saw a lot of them on eBay, so that's that. So then another thing that I am loving this month that I mentioned, I did a tutorial on it a couple weeks ago, is this L'Oreal La Palette Nude. So if you want a full review of this and a tutorial, look at one of my other videos. This was about $13 at Target and it is a, I wouldn't call it a dupe for Naked 3. People have been, I've been seeing that, that it's a dupe for Naked 3. I mean, it's not, well, I suppose it could, it's just missing a lot of the colors that the Urban Decay Naked 3 is missing. So if you don't like any of the shimmers or frosty colors in the Urban Decay palettes, then you would love this because it is those nice mauves and plums and um, has some nice matte browns. It's just a very versatile palette. The pigment is great. They blend great. Again, full review um, on my channel of the La Palette Nude, but I had, just had to put it in my favorites because between these two palettes, I'm just loving them and they're not expensive palettes and I have so many pricey palettes, but these have been my favorites. And then um, another cream that I'm really loving is this Dr. Dennis Gross Hyaluronic Moisture Cushion because my face was actually like peeling. I had these weird peely patches on my chin and on my forehead. So I went to Sephora and I asked the girl what I should do because being oily and acne prone, I don't want one of those oil. I'm scared of oils and I'm scared of anything really heavy. And I had, you know, my friend coming to town and I didn't want to be broken out for my staycation on the Vegas Strip. And so I was, wasn't really sure what to do. And so she showed me this lotion, this moisturizer that was like $110. And I said, no, I really don't want to go that route. Um, and then she steered me towards this. It's $58. And I really love it. Hyaluronic acid, if you don't know what hyaluronic acid is, it basically holds 1,000 times its weight in water. So it keeps moisture in your skin. If you're a dry skin, this will not work as your everyday moisturizer. It will help, you can use it in conjunction. And it doesn't have the greatest reviews either. I always look up reviews after I, after I buy things for some reason, sometimes before, usually after. Um, it's oil-free hyaluronic moisture cushion. Doesn't have great reviews, but I actually love it. Within a couple days, Everything was gone. It's so lightweight. And I did actually recently see a commercial for Neutrogena that looks like it's something like aqua water moisturizer or something like that. It sounded very similar to what this is. So I might give it a try because if I can find something that is, you know, a, uh, you know, a drugstore equivalent that works just as well, um, I'd be happy to do that. But so far I'm really, really liking this Dr. Dennis Gross moisturizer. It's really helped with the, um, the flakies and everything on my skin. So that's another favorite. And then finally, finally, you guys, I know you all, a lot of my um, viewers are a little bit older or the more mature set, I guess you could say. And a lot of you probably are not into the whole false lash thing. You're probably like, I don't understand why Risa wears them all the time. I can't do them. I see a lot of comments um, on people that, you know, as we age, our lids get more hooded and I have very hooded eyes as well. Like not the most hooded, but I would say on a scale of one being not hooded at all and 10 being super hooded. I have probably about a seven um, of, on the hooded scale. Like when I open my eyes, you really can't see the shadow on my lids. So that's why I have such a hard time taking Instagram photos because I have to take two pictures. I either take one of my eyes open where you can't see the shadow or I have to take them closed where you can. So it's kind of frustrating. So anyway, that's, that's a rant. So lashes. I am obsessed with lashes. I love lashes because no mascara I have found has ever given me the look of fake lashes. And don't try to tell me about that unique stuff. If you sell it, I am not trying to like, you know, have anybody who is my subscriber who sells unique to like run off and, and like hate me. Please don't. I just, it's not my thing. I am faster personally, faster putting on fake lashes. I am. I'm not saying that stuff isn't good, but for me personally, I'd rather, if I'm going to take the time that that requires, I'm going to put on my fake lashes. Anyway, I have been dying, dying, dying to get my hands on these Huda Beauty lashes. And I think I mentioned in another video that it, I wanted them since she launched, but the shipping was so high. It costs just as much to ship the lashes as it does for a pair of lashes. And the lashes that I really wanted were these Samanthas and they're $20. So to pay um, $20 for $20 lashes, I mean, it was just so much, but I've been wanting them for like six months and they've just never left my head. I see pictures of them on Instagram and I have tried every dupe that is out there. I have tried combinations just to get this particular style, this real kind of fluttery. It's like a combination of Demi Wispies and like, 
uh, I don't know how you would describe it. It's like, I just haven't ever seen anything like that. Even though I've tried stacking lashes and I have so many lashes. If you could only see my lash door, it's crazy how many I have. Um, but anyway, I decided you keep wanting these lashes and she was offering on her website. It used to be if you spent a certain amount, you got an extra pair of lashes free, but you still had to pay shipping. Now she has where if you spend $75, you get free shipping. So while yes, 75 is a lot of money to spend on lashes, um, you know, when you think about something for so long, you really just have to go for it. And so I figured I would get all these pairs, which is a lot of lashes, and get it shipped. They are shipped from Dubai, so. And I absolutely love them, and I get several, several wears out of my lashes, so I'm pretty much set for a very, very long time. And I'm grateful, because I was concerned that having a hooded lid, sometimes fake lashes can look too dramatic and um, I thought that as I have ordered some that looked great on people on Instagram and then I get them and I look ridiculous I mean ridiculous again with the hooded lids I, you don't want your lashes above your brow that's just that's not cute so I was hesitant but I really really researched them I've been seeing everybody with all different eye shapes wear these lashes and I'm like rambling because I'm just so excited that I finally got them the ones I have on today though are called Coco Joe I don't know if I'm zoomed in enough to really see this, but these are um, a little bit more uh, everyday-ish, whereas the Samanthas are a little bit more glam, and I will definitely be posting pictures on Instagram, but these are my favorites, and they shipped really, really fast. I mean, I ordered them on a Sunday, and by Thursday morning, they were at my house, and they came from Dubai, so that's a long way. So those are all my favorites of the month. I hope you enjoy them. I hope you'll try some of them. I know I try to keep a balance of inexpensive and expensive because that's just how I shop. I buy um, things that, like I mentioned, I think about for a really long time. I try not to splurge all the time, but if I'm still thinking about it months later, then I, if I can, I do. I buy it and thankfully I love it. Love the pricier things that I've shown you today. Um, I really didn't have any failures this month. There really wasn't anything that I was like, I tried some things that were like, eh, they weren't necessarily failures. Um, one thing that I wanted to talk about was like the Benefit Roller Lash. And that was super hyped up and super popular. But my only review on that is that it was, eh, again, meh for me, but take that with a grain of salt because I am a fake lash wearer and I like full lashes and my lashes are not in great shape. They're fine and thin. So I really haven't found a mascara that can do everything that I want that doesn't take you know 10 minutes to apply with fibers etc etc um so this one it gives you a lot of length it does give a little bit of curl it didn't pull out my curl but it doesn't it kind of got spidery lashes after like the second coat so I was trying to build volume and you can't get volume from that mascara it's strictly uh, a lengthening mascara in my opinion so if you have already full lashes or thick lashes this will be great for you you'll really like it but um it's nice dark black it didn't smudge um, but for $24, I just wasn't blown away by it. I would rather, honestly, I really like the La Volume from Chanel. That's the one that got the closest to what I like in a lash look. So, again, it wasn't a failure, but it's just for me. And I hate to review mascaras because they're so, you know, your mileage may vary. They're so personal because you have to, everybody starts off with a different lash type and a lash look that they like. So... Anyway, rambling, 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 and sticking my fingers in the um, the Too Faced lip gloss. So, now I'm sticky. Anyway, um, that was it. I hope you enjoyed my favorites and my, eh, you know, didn't blow me away product of the month of, of March. And I am going to be doing another video um, on my, I'm hopefully maybe going to record it today, of my favorite brushes, which is a request from some one of my subscribers and my followers on Instagram. And I try to listen to all of you eventually getting to what you're requested. And then I'm going to do um, a video on the classes that everybody seems to, if you are on Instagram, a lot of these um, Instagram artists, some of them are just Instagram artists and some of them are actual working artists. And a lot of the actual working artists they um, have been doing these classes that you have to pay for. So it's not like YouTube where you just go and you watch. They're doing like these subscription, $19 a month, etc. Et I'll go into detail in the video, but I want to tell you about my experience with those and things that I've learned. Should you sign up? Should you not? Um, all those things. So that'll be coming up in the next week or so. So thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, and so the one person who said that I talk too much, I do. What do I, I, what can I say? So. Um, have a great day, everyone. I'll see you soon.